Welcome back, everybody, to Start Your Systems again with some MXGP 2021 career mode. We're going to finish up the MX2 championship here today. We are on round 12 of 12 at Petra Murata in Trentino. And I think, let's see, I'm up like 12 points or so in the championship. Yeah, 12 up on Jed Beaton in the championship, Tom Vial, uh, Yago Geertz are all still able to potentially win this title. And we got this one round to go. It's been a little bit since I've played against the AI in this game. So I might be a little bit rusty and might end up losing this championship because of it. But let's go ahead and find out what's going to happen. Okay, here goes nothing. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat these guys and win this title. But we have the red plate. And we're going to give it our best shot. I also forgot to change my uh, jersey color. So we're running red numbers, red boots, red gear, red everything. Um, but we're going to see if we can't come out and get at least a decent start and mix it up with some of these guys a little bit. Not bad. Already into the lead off the start. They are on the toughest difficulty as well. So this is uh, supposed to be as hard as it's going to get. But I'm already finding my way into the lead here at least so far. Got to try to not crash. This game is really... As soon as you start letting people go by you is where things get really bad. And that's not good right there. And Demus Dyke, Tom Vial going by. So that's not the worst thing ever because it's not the guys that I need to worry about. I mean, Vial is in the middle of this kind of title fight thing as well, but not close enough to really do much damage. So if I can just keep him close, it's not the worst thing ever. But like I said, if I let him go and start letting some of these other guys go, then we got a problem. So I'm going to try to stick with him. There's a pretty big group behind me here. Ooh, little bump right there, bump and run. I'm trying so hard not to tuck the front end or slide the rear tire out of these corners. I'm taking some terrible lines. All right, Maxim Renault, this isn't the worst thing either. I can just keep these guys behind him defending for my life in this race. And honestly, if I can just get through this moto and not let them gain points, it's probably going to be okay in the end because, oh my gosh, how did he quad all the way down the hill? I'm going to try to force the issue. Oh, man, he made that pass stick. All right. Back to third. Lead lap one. Now we're back to third. This is going to be a long race. Actually, I thought it was five minutes. It's only like three minutes or so. Oh, no. There's Yago Geertz. So Vial, Vial beating me isn't, isn't a problem still. I feel like well, Geertz isn't really either. Can't let Jed Beaton and those guys get in. Oh, there's Jed Beaton. No, don't bounce off the wall like that. Oh, yellow flag's out. Who went down? Oh, my goodness. I just got absolutely taken down by Fernandez. Okay, so now Geert's ahead of me. Not bad yet, still. Jeez, Vial got away fast. I am so rusty at this game. Got that rep pretty good, though. And Fernandez, who cleaned me out, cleans himself out. Mike just doesn't want to turn through some of these corners. I think that's beaten behind me. Just saw Rockstar Helmet. Oh, it is. Oh, he just shoved me out of the way. See, like, they just turn so fast, man. Like, I don't even... What did he just bank off of? Nothing? Oh, come on. Do not high center on that rut like that. That's ridiculous. Are you serious? How did I loop out there? Oh, I was going so well, and now it's going pretty darn bad. I got to go try to pass some of these guys. 14th place is not going to cut it in this one. How are we just sliding around the corners like this? Come on. I had someone complain to me that they, they think I'm sliding down these straightaways and, like, bouncing off of stuff on purpose. I am not. The bike is just choosing itself to start sliding around crazily like this and i think it's setup based that i always struggle with but I've, I've changed so many things with my settings in this game and i still have the same issues and the thing about this game and honestly all these arcade games that i never understand is they don't really the transmissions like don't work how they should like being in second gear through some of these corners should be perfectly ideal but it's just like nope we're not not doing it the way you want it to this is not going well. I mean, the, the silver lining, if there is one, is that 
I'm uh, only losing maximum points right now to Vial. So if Beaton can finish like seventh or eighth, then we'll be still within a shot. And then I just got to beat him in the second moto. But I got to try to start beating some of these other guys. Problem is, I don't know what the gap is going to be after this moto because it's not going to show me. Well, we started well and finished terribly. Oh, I was trying to get Langenfelder there at the end. Oh, now it's the final lap. Okay, never mind. Still got a chance to make some passes here. Why? Stop sliding out. Put my focus hat on here trying to go get these guys. Like if I can get two more spots, that'd be so big. Bike just does not want to hook up out of that corner. All right, Vial takes the win in the moto. Oh, stop sliding. Okay, go, go, go. Don't let Polak go by. Let's keep him behind at least. Jeez, how did they almost nail that quad down the hill that one lap? It's, it's a problem that I'm not on a factory bike. Oh, if I didn't crash, I would have gotten Hoffer, so then I would have gotten 14th. Still get him anyway? Block pass? Okay. No! How does he get me back there? Damn it. Okay, 15th place is not ideal. That's only going to be 6 points. And Jed Beaton got 16? So that means we're two points apart. Vial gained... Oh, man. Vial might actually be in this as well. It's not going to show me the world championship standings. I got to beat these guys second moto. All right. This, this is what it comes down to right here. Oh, boy. The good news is I feel like I figured some things out a little bit. Not off the gate very well right there. So we're just going to cut back up the inside. Bounce off this wall. Okay, Vial and Renault going by. Well, Renault's just pushing me up the hill. Right, I'm going to try to stick with them. I feel like Vial's going to like sneak up and win this freaking world title at this rate. I don't understand how they're staying so much lower on some of these jumps than me too. And then like the speed that they're carrying down to here is crazy. Like, that was my biggest gripe I remember with this game is that the AI was just doing like unrealistic things. Oh, Renault down. Oh, come on. Do not high center on these ruts. Like, how do they turn so much faster and get so much better power than me? Renault is struggling right now. Like, seriously, what the heck happened to him? It's riding terrible. Vial is absolutely rising to the occasion. This is what he did when he won the world title against Geertz in uh, 2022. Oh my gosh, the slide outs. Okay, I can't let Jet Beaton go. Absolutely cannot let him go. Like, I just do not understand how the bike doesn't turn. It just, sometimes it'll stop and just turn immediately hard right. Other times it won't turn at all. Oh boy.
Oh. Felt the front end going right there. Oh my gosh, how? There's Geertz in here, there's Beaton, there's so many people right here. Meanwhile, Vial is gone. I don't know what Vial ate for lunch before he had this race today, but good grief, man. He just took off. It's already coming back down the hill the other way right there off the top. Like, I'm telling myself in my own mind if I just beat Jed Beaton here that I'll win it, but I kind of feel like Vial gained enough points on us, didn't he? I don't remember how far back he was. That'd be crazy if he came from whatever was fourth in the standings to win this thing. Make a little headway. Yago went down behind me, so a little bit of breathing room now. Damn. Every time I start feeling like I'm going somewhere again and I just make little mistakes, I think I'm just riding too hard. If I could go get third in this race, so that would be critical. Oh, Vial? Did Vial just go down? Oh, no, he just... Another lap in the lead. That's what that little marker was. I am so afraid to look back right now. I'm very concerned it's someone that I don't want it to be. Whoever it is, they are flying to catch me, though. I think it's Renault. Come on, go get those guys. Yeah, it's Renault. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. I mean, I do because I don't want to lose a position to him, but that's not that's not beaten. Losing a spot to beaten would be the worst. Gosh, Vial, look at how far ahead he got. Jesus. Okay, Van de Moustak just crashed in second, so that might open us up to potentially getting up here and ruffling some feathers late in this moto. Guys, if they get together, that would be huge. Oh, come on with the rear end sliding through the corner. All right, Vial takes the win. Jeez, this, this is going to be such a close championship. I think Vial is going to get it, though. I've absolutely gaffed it. Okay, now just let's get just sixth place here. Oh, fifth place, I guess, because Renault's going to crash in the last corner. All right, no idea what this means, but let's find out what happened. Beaten finished two spots behind me. All right, so Vial takes the win. I got beaten by two spots, and it is a Vial one. Oh, my gosh, I only scored... 22 points. He gained 28 on me. I got ninth in this one. And Vial won by... Oh my gosh. Vial won by nine points in the end? Goodness gracious. He went from so far back to win by nine points. I beat Beaten by four. I beat Yago by 12. And Vial with two wins on the season goes perfect at the finale to come back and win this thing. So he gained 28 points on me and won by nine. He was he was closer than I thought. That's incredible. Totally blew it though. And Vial wins the world title by nine points. Crazy. <sighs> All right, well, we didn't win the MX2 championship, but I feel like we're going to move up to MXGP anyway. It just makes sense to keep going with our career. Uh, so we have some options that we can choose for teams. We got JK... Uh, Moto Star, JWR Honda, SM Action, Honda SR Moto Blues, KMP, 
Gavin. Yeah, these are all ones that we can't get to yet. So these are I have to be 50, level 50 to get to like the factory factory teams and 40 to be kind of the, the satellite secondary teams, I guess. So let's see what sponsors we can rock here. Garda, Cell, Trentino, Wozner, Beer. Which uh which is gonna do us the best here? It looks like everything from beer onward will do wonders for us. Can't get Athena though. Wiseco, not not a bad one. Pro X, Moto Master, KYB, Greenland MX. I think we'll just do beer. I like it. Yeah, we'll do this. And uh, what should we ride? We got Husky, got Cowie, <clears throat> excuse me, Yamaha. Could ride a TM, just be completely off the wall. We've been riding the gas gas, but I feel like I might change it up. Or, or we could just go straight beta. Just make our debut on a beta. Um, now nah, we'll, uh, we'll do something different. Let's, uh, Move up to MXGP and go with a Cowie. Why not? Oh, darn it. So close yet so far. Now we got 14 rounds of MXGP up ahead of us. But um, yeah, that was the end of our MX2 championship. Completely gaffed it. It was a good attempt in the end, though, and chaotic race, regardless of which. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of fun rehash of finishing our MX2 career. Now we get to roll into MXGP for the next video and start it off fresh. If you guys like this one, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, get involved in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see and appreciate you stopping by and watching another video here on Start Your Systems. Hope to see you guys in the next one. So long for now.